Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome to my channel if it's your first time visiting. Today I'm doing a unveil of my daughter Sienna Annalise and her uh, South Beach Miami themed nursery. So come on in. <laughs> Over here is her dressing uh, dresser and her changing table area. So um, unlike with my son's nursery I wanted to keep all, everything off of the dresser here. I wanted to keep it a little bit cleaner, a little bit more chic, um, and just not have all of the stuff on top of the dresser. So we actually keep her diapers and wipes and things in this top drawer. And we ended up going with this Kikaroo peanut instead of a traditional um, changing table topper, which I really like because I feel like it's just a little bit more modern, a little bit more simplistic, goes better with the theme. Plus, I think the color, it's the vanilla color, just kind of adds a little bit element um, to all of like the natural or neutral colors in here. So um, obviously the dresser is a, is a focal point. It's beautiful. I um, really wanted, because it's South Beach theme, I really wanted to have a mix of a little bit of glam, a little bit of chic, but also a little bit of those natural textures because it's by the beach. So I feel like it all pulled together really well. Um, love this dresser as like definitely um, because it has this kind of like faux raffia type look and then the white and the gold. Um, obviously I brought in white and gold in the shelves too. Some little faux plants here to kind of bring in some greenery. Um, these little dried, dried ones for some natural textures. Uh, this is a photo from our maternity shoot when she was not with us quite yet. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just, I got this little rainbow out because she was a rainbow baby. So, and I just thought this was really beautiful. And when she's a little older, she can also play with it. So, um, this mirror, um, I really love, like, obviously it's just it's a little boho, but it's, when you mix it with the glam, it's not overly boho. So, um, really like that. Also got this kind of woven basket over here. Yeah, you can't really tell because the blankets are in it, but it has kind of like woven leaves is the, is the style of it. So um, that kind of plays into the whole natural fibers and things. And then um, I actually ordered a bunch of curtains. These are the ones I ended up going with. I love this like open little peephole and the ribbons. I think it's really delicate, really beautiful for a little girl's room. Um, really, I, I mean, I would put these in my room too. Um, we actually have these same gold curtain rods that we had used in my son's nursery. They're very affordable. I love them. I think the gold, like the brush gold is really nice. Um, yeah, so, and just a quick note, our walls are um, Cancun sand, that's the color. I'm gonna put all of this in the caption as well as links for everything, but it is Benjamin Moore Cancun sand, which I think is a really pretty color. Um, fun fact, I was actually gonna do um, some wallpaper in here, but when we had them paint the walls, uh, I like the color so much that we just stuck with it. So, uh, just wanna quickly show you over here. So I just, this is kind of like where I keep her bows. <laughs> so I had found this little shelf, which I also thought went well with the theme. Um, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but I thought it worked really well with her bows over here, kind of hidden behind the door. I can grab them while I'm changing her. Um, and then I just have some more organization on the back of her door here, which is a little bit sloppy looking right now, but um, that's where I kind of keep her like hats and shoes that she doesn't have that many of quite yet. So coming over here, I have picked a few prints for the walls. So um, these are obviously kind of like beachy. Um, if you've been to South Beach, they have, you know, really neat lifeguard stands. So um, this one is like obviously an aerial shot of the beach. This one's like lifeguard stand, kind of like a vintagey color, um, not too vibrant, a little bit more muted, a little bit more pastelish. And then I just have the simple palm trees over there to kind of bring a little color into the room, bring that theme around. Um, over here, I, I had definitely trouble finding an ottoman and a side table. I looked a lot, but I'm really happy with the ones that we ended up with. Um, this side table, I think, is really glam, and it can grow with her as she gets older and has more of like a big girl room, which this room obviously is kind of a little bit more big girl. It's not super babyish at all, which I like, um, but I just thought the table was really neat. And then it has this little book plant. Then on here is where I keep like burp cloths and things. So if I'm feeding her here in the chair, um, this little ottoman I thought also went well with the South Beach theme. 
And this chair, it's a slug velvet rocking chair with gold, um, gold rails on the bottom. It is kind of like a, like a purpley mauvey type color. Um, this was one of the first things that I found that I wanted for her room <laughs> and I kind of planned some of the other stuff around it. I think it's a beautiful chair. I think it will, again, grow with her um, and it's really comfy. So <laughs> um, this chandelier here, we actually had in my son's nursery. And then when we moved to our new house, we decided to put it in here because it goes well with her theme. It is a little kind of feminine. So now he's getting older. Um, we're gonna be changing the theme of his room and we ended up putting a family in his room. So I put this in here with a little swag. Um, I think it's super cute, um, kind of makes this little area, little sitting area. So on to her crib. Um, I did look at a ton of cribs. It's always so hard with things like this because, you know, you can't really see them in advance unless you go to a store. But in these days, a lot of stores don't have them set up. Um, I knew I wanted something simple. Um, so I looked at a ton of cribs. <laughs> Just went with this really simple, it's kind of like a warm white, it's not just like a bright white. Um, and then we got this wooden sign from Etsy, I will link it. Uh, I think it's just really, really pretty. It's very um, simple, you can get it in colors, but I went with the neutral and I'm really happy with it because you can see the, the laser um, line from the cutting here, which gives it a little bit of dimension. So coming in over here, um, I'll show you her two rugs. Um, so she has this kind of like more boho jute rug, um, which is just, you know, round, gives another dimension to the space and kind of just looks, makes it look a little more cozy. And then she has this like fuzzier rug over here, which brings in a lot of color, really pretty, very feminine, um, and kind of per fits perfectly underneath of her crib. So on her crib here, I have this really gorgeous sheet. I um, I had just found this sheet and let, just loved it. It has little egrets on it. Um, and I just thought it was really beautiful. Not your traditional um, sheet that you see, I feel like on cribs there. A lot of times you see a little bit more kitty-ish and stuff, but I just thought this one was really, um, went really nice with the theme. It was really beautiful and a little bit more grown up. So she has a few little animals in here. And then over here is, full-length mirror which is a little lower because obviously she's little <laughs> so um eventually you know that'll be like a full-length mirror for her when she grows up and she can kind of put it a little higher but uh, again it has a natural texture to it or natural fiber to it and it has the white um so and the, the shape is kind of a little retro so it goes with a kind of like south beach theme um i, I really do feel like everything tied together really well <laughs> even though i'd spent hours searching for things um, so I'm really glad with, uh, with the selection of that. And over here is just like a little basket that was actually gifted to us with a rainbow on it. Um, and this is for like toy and book storage for her. So, um, and then of course her closet, which is thankfully nice and big, so you can fill it up. <laughs> and then just lastly, I wanted to just show this little rainbow here. Um, I saw this and just kind of fell in love with it. I know it's kind of silly, but again, she's a rainbow baby and I thought it was really pretty. And so it's just kind of a little symbolic and there on, on her wall to remind us that she's a little blessing for us. And uh, yeah, so I hope you love this room as much as we do. Um, the space has really pretty light right now. It's a little dark, but um, it's just a really serene space. And I will link everything if you'd like to kind of use some of these pieces. And again, thank you for checking out my channel and thank you for watching. <laughs>